This is a CBS 42 breaking news report. I'm Jack Roy. You're at our CBS 42 studios in Birmingham. We're interrupting our programming at 2 o'clock this afternoon with some breaking news relating to some injuries. We're told a UAB bus carrying UAB employees has crashed in Winston County. This is early on, but here's what we know so far. There were 25 UAB employees and a bus driver that were on a retreat heading back to Birmingham from Winston County this afternoon. Several of them are being transported by Life Flight to UAB Hospital. That's what you see on your screen right now. This is a live look at UAB Hospital, the helipad there where we're awaiting patients that were involved in this bus crash that will be airlifted back to UAB Hospital. We're told others are being transported to Coleman Regional uh, Hospital right now and UAB Hospital by ambulance as well. We've got crews headed to both scenes and this is now confirmed through UAB this afternoon. I want to read you a statement we have received from Adam Pope with UAB Public Relations confirming 25 UAB employees and a bus driver on that retreat. The accident happened this afternoon in Winston County. The bus that was involved is one of the Blazer Express vehicles you've seen on campus likely operated by transportation partner First Transit that works with UAB. The uh, UAB public relations people telling us this afternoon that they're still gathering information and contacting the families involved in this crash this afternoon, and they say they plan to update everybody uh, as soon as more information becomes available. This is also being worked by the Winston County Sheriff uh, Sheriff's Department Sheriff's Office this afternoon. Uh, Chief Brian Kirkpatrick's confirming that this was at Winston County Road and Highway 63 in the Emerald Valley Estates. So again, a, a UAB bus operated by a contractor called First Transit today, and then now UAB's public relations people confirming 25 UAB employees and a bus driver were on board this bus that was involved in an accident. It's unclear if other vehicles were involved. We've got a crew headed to the scene in Winston County where that uh, accident occurred. And this, like we said, is a live look at UAB Hospital this afternoon. Now they're working in multiple ways to get people to UAB Hospital. Others go to Coleman Regional Medical Center uh, to the north tonight. We're expecting to see a helicopter land at uh, any moment, really. Uh, as we work to learn more information. The good news, the silver lining out of this is that the uh, patients involved are being taken care of quickly and swiftly with fast medical attention. Many heading to one of the best hospitals in the country, UAB Hospital, uh, just right there in downtown Birmingham. And again, this is a live look as we await those airlifted patients. Others transported by ambulance and then uh, UAB telling us this afternoon that they are working diligently right now to notify the families of those 25 UAB employees and the bus driver. So if you're wondering how this happened, it did not involve any students, we're told by UAB. Uh, this did not happen on the UAB campus. We're simply watching the campus, watching the hospital specifically uh, to watch for when these patients come in uh, this afternoon. It was 25 UAB employees. It's unclear exactly what kind of retreat they were on, but we're told that they were uh, on a retreat this afternoon. Now those patients being airlifted in, and we see a helicopter landing on our screen right there. Uh, we've got some limited visibility, but you can see in the center of the frame there, the helicopter landing on the helipad on the top of UAB Hospital this afternoon. We're told that is one of the many patients that have been taken to various hospitals. Uh, and like I said, for those of you just tuning in, we wanted to bring you breaking news coverage. A bus crash occurred in Winston County with 25 UAB employees. There were there are many people who might say that, see this and, and wonder if their UAB students are okay. There were no students involved in this bus crash this afternoon. Strictly employees there and one of them uh, now inside, we assume that helicopter on top of UAB Hospital you can see from our tower cam uh, right now. As I mentioned, we have a crew on the way to the scene this afternoon. And to reiterate what we've been telling you about exactly what this was, we're told employees, there, there are reports tonight of specifically what they were doing, uh, and we're working to confirm that information. But 25 UAB employees and the driver involved in this accident, uh, the specific location of which, as we've told you, Winston County Road and Highway 63 in the Emerald Valley Estates. For those of you familiar with that area of Winston County, they were coming back from, a, uh, from some sort of activity up there this afternoon. 
No students were injured in this. Strictly UAB employees, 25 of them, and the bus driver. And again, it was uh, a, a UAB transit system bus or vehicle of some kind, the Blazer Express vehicles, similar to those you've seen on other college campuses, carrying these employees, and it's operated by that third party, Transit uh, First Transit is the name of the company. And as is common on college campuses, this is true for the University of Alabama, uh, when, when employees leave the campus in a group, when there is some sort of university sanctioned activity for students or employees, uh, you do take these University of uh, Alabama at Birmingham buses off campus. That's what happened today. Uh, a Blazer Express vehicle crashing in Winston County tonight. 25 people and the driver, some of them injured. They're being airlifted to UAB. We've got crews on the way to both scenes and we'll have more coming up in just a few hours. I'm Jack Royer in Birmingham. We'll see you on the CBS 42 News at 5. This has been a CBS 42 breaking news report. Local coverage you can count on.